so greetings everyone myself sirigiri shravani so today we are going to present about a project meta material based highly isolated mimo antenna for wireless applications my teammates are supriya mg srinidhi kudi sushant gupta and the guidance of anita ma'am and so moving on to the introduction part so currently memo antenna has pulled a lot of attention due to its potential to enhance the capacity and reliability so for many wireless com uh, communication systems memo antenna is playing a key role so despite of its advantages there is a one disadvantage known as mutual coupling this mutual coupling is typically undesirable since it affects the performance of the memo antenna and antenna array system so what is this mutual coupling the interaction between the array elements in the memo uh, elements degrade the system performance so and it also increases the envelope correlation coefficient and increases the channel capacity loss and decreases the diversity gain and also dis uh, radiation part is distorted so these problems may arise when antennas are placed nearby so to avoid that we are introducing a meta material which is going to absorb the radiation between the two uh, two antenna elements so the main agenda of this project is to reduce the uh, mutual coupling between uh, the mimo antenna elements so the proposed mimo uh, antenna is well suited for the many wireless applications due to its low ecc high diversity gain high peak gain low channel capacity loss and most of all the very high but the blue color part which we are seeing here it is a fr4 substrate here we are using fr4 substrate just it has a loss tangent and the relative permittivity will be around 0.02 and 4.4 and the two patch antennas will be 3 mm wider micro strip lines and these are the two uh, two patch antennas with the lp with the lp will be the length of the patch and the wp will be the width of the patch and we are introducing one uh, mimo strip or micro strip between the two patch antennas of the width 15 mm and the length 13 mm uh, because we are introducing this because to avoid the mutual coupling between the two patch antennas uh, uh, to uh, if i have mentioned in the introduction and the working methodology Uh, to reduce the mutual induction, we kept one uh, meta material in between two antenna, which avoid the mutual coupling. Which means that uh, the relations, which the, the dependency of the two antenna will get uh, reduced. If it will affect one antenna, it will not going to affect another antenna. Now come to the to define the whole antenna. We have something called scattering parameter. S one one is not known as uh, input reflection coefficient, uh, which at the five point eight gigahertz, which is the resulting frequency. You can see we are getting minus forty seven seven point six two nine six eight dB, which is the more ideal cases. So in in the same uh, parallel, we have designed the transmission parameter also S two one, S one two two, S two two, and to design uh, to in to get the relationship between the uh, dependency, we have something called envelope correlation coefficient ECC at five point eight gigahertz. Go to the ECC. We are getting a 0.06 at 5.8 gigahertz frequency that we can observe it here, which shows that dependency of the antenna is very less. And uh, directivity gain, which is the important parameter to govern any antenna, go to the D uh, DIB, which is almost equal to 10 at 5.8 gigahertz frequency, which shows that it is more suitable for the wireless application at 5.8 uh, gigahertz frequency. Uh, thank you for, uh, thank you, sir, and thank you, everyone. That's all. Huh. Done.